Hi, this is Mark Matulat for Peter Silbermann Schule and today I would like to introduce another easy care plan which is very decorative, not very exotic, but very decorative because it can grow into a very tall plant or it can even decorate your walls if you let it. Okay, so here comes the new plant. And here comes Pothos, which in Germany goes by the ridiculous name of Efeutute. Whoever thought up that absolutely ridiculous name. Uh, personally, I like the English name much better. So this is Pothos. And Pothos is absolutely easy care. It doesn't ask for much attention, grows on its own. Just leave it be and enjoy the foliage. And this one, as you can see, is a variegated variety. The variegation depends on the amount of light that this gets. This is not a plant that wants to be sitting in direct sunlight, but it needs and wants uh, a highlight uh, environment because the variegation requires light. Okay, uh, it grows long, long trails. You can see the trail here. Um, and they, these trails can grow very, very long, um, several meters. So that's why I said uh, you can uh, decorate your walls. If you let these trails grow long enough, they can go all around uh, the room and um, make it a beautiful place, if you like. Um, and if you don't want them to decorate your walls, uh, then you can do what I did. I bought myself a structure here. It is, you may call this a kind of trellis. Um, most trellises that you find on the market are bamboo trellises and have a triangular or about triangular shape. Um, I had this plant on a bamboo uh, trellis before and then in spring, in early spring, um, that bamboo trellis collapsed. The plant had become too heavy, too many trails, too long trails. Uh, I've had this plant for, mm, I don't know, five, six, seven years, I don't know. I've had it um, for an eternity and therefore I needed to cut the whole plant down to the base. I really had to cut the uh, plant uh, down to the base and what I did then was I took cuttings and now, I don't know if you can see this, I'm trying to show you. Yes, you can see this. Um, I took cuttings and putted them up here along with the, with the mother plant and they grew new roots and now I have a, probably 12 plants in this pot. And this pot is a 20... Five, I think 25 centimeter pot, um, probably seven, eight, maybe nine liters. So I put it, um, these cuttings up here and now they're all growing these trails and I train them. And that is the technical word to train them uh, to grow around this round-shaped trellis. 
Uh, this time it is not bamboo. I uh, this is zinc. It's a met metal uh, structure, but I decided on a metal structure, even it may not be all that beautiful and decorative, but it will be once the trails uh, have encircled this structure and they have quite a long way to grow. So for probably the next two or three years, these trails will have time enough to uh, conquer the whole structure. And then there won't be uh, much to be seen anymore. Oh, look, there's my Tom. Oh, and he is fast asleep. Wow, he doesn't seem to notice what's going on around him and he doesn't know he's being filmed. Uh -uh. Okay, so back to Pothos. As I said, this is Pothos, uh, easy care, doesn't require much attention, doesn't require too much water either uh, because the leaves are quite fleshy. Not as fleshy as uh, those of, let's say, a jade plant or so, but they're still quite fleshy and they can store water and nutrients. This here, this plant is sitting in an organic mix to which I added a lot of mineral grit and clay pebbles so this is uh, the other the uh, the reddish um, thing is granulated clay but i think i also see pumice yes granulated pumice so this um, makes a very well draining uh, mix and that is what these plants need a very well draining mix which allows for the water to run through and dry up uh, before I water again. So how often do I uh, water this plant? Hmm. With this a number of cuttings and plants once a week? Yes, I think I water once a week. Then they get a deep watering, but um, I always stop myself over watering so there shouldn't be any water down here in the saucer um, and lead to root rot. Excess water um, here needs to be discarded. Um, if the plant is sitting in excess water for too long, uh, the roots will go waterlogged and that leads to root rot. You don't want to do this. I don't fertilize this plant very much. Maybe once every two weeks in the summer, maybe once every three weeks in the winter. And I don't use the full dose. It is probably two-third of the recommended dose. So go to your liquid fertilizer bottle, look for the instructions and give it a little less than uh, recommended, okay? Um, if you give it the full dose, um, the leaves may go brown or black here, the tips at least. Um, I've also seen leaves go all black. And this is, of course, something that you don't want. Pests. These plants I have never seen with pests. I don't know why. I mean, this is a jungle of a plant when it is full grown. And I've never had any pests. Never, never, ever any pest infestation. They say they may attract aphids, they may attract a spider mite infestation, but as I said, these 
are and have been very, very healthy all the time and ever since I've had this. Um, anything else I should... Oh, yes, uh, pets. Uh, talking about pets. Well, yes, uh, Pathos is slightly toxic, but it doesn't seem to be very attractive to pets. So my uh, three cats do not mind this plant. They're not interested in it. They've never tried nibbling on any uh, leaf. So there shouldn't be much of a problem if you have a cat yourself. Um, no, maybe you should uh, give it a pot of kitty uh, grass. Um, which is much more attractive than pathos. You can uh, work with this plant without wear, uh, wearing gloves, um, even though it is slightly toxic, but I've never heard of anybody um, having uh, an allergic rash or an itchy skin reaction to working with this plant. Uh, there are some other plants uh, which do cause uh, rashes or an itch, but this one I've never heard of it and um, I myself never had uh, an allergic reaction uh, to working with this plant. Okay, so if you are interested in this, go for it. It's available everywhere in any garden center, any DIY. It's quite inexpensive. Buy yourself a baby plant because it will grow into a tall and majestic plant all by itself. Doesn't take long. It's a fast growing plant. So go for the inexpensive babies and give it just a little time uh, to grow. So thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in one of the following videos. Till then, bye bye.